Hello, welcome back to Ride Rescue. Well, I've done it all I can for now on the center dash. I'm waiting for some parts. I need the, the vent and a couple other little items before I can put all that back together. And I'm thinking, yeah, it probably makes the most sense to go ahead and wait. Don't put that in until I've got the top and everything on. Who knows, I might drop something. <laughs> so I want to move on to the center console. Uh, the, the door on the center console has got a crack and a dent in it. Uh, there's a couple other items on it that I'd like to restore and, and clean it up. It's looking kind of shabby, and especially with that door having damage to it. And then the little ashtray on the back, all the, the finish has gone off of it. So in this episode, I am going to pull that center console out and tear it all apart and clean it up, restore it. And then it'll be ready to go back in. And I'm going to leave the console out too so that when I'm stomping around inside of the car, put the top on, I don't have to worry about anything that's in there. It's in good shape. This door is, is not any good anymore. It's got a dent here and a crack here. This piece can be cleaned up. So we'll start by taking the center piece out which is in need of repair as well. I put a block under the tires so that I can move the shifter. These rubber pieces are replaceable. This one's starting to see a lot of wear. These are in pretty good shape. This little uh, arm for the door has a spring in it. So I'll have to be careful to keep an eye on that spring. bolt here in the back and there's a bolt here if I remember right there's a bolt up front too let's start with just taking these two bolts out little screws on the front here they're going up it's probably a clamshell I'm probably gonna have to take it apart Just all stuck together. Yeah, it is. Just sticky soda stuff. That was the ticket. Now it looks like we have two more here. Do have a power plug. Now that's a, kind of a dilemma. <laughs> How did they run that wire? Well, I'm going to have to leave this harness attached. It's the only way to get around this back light. Kind of a goofy design. It looks like I've got a ground wire here. Everything else will unplug. Neutral safety switch. Backup light. I'm going to have to take a picture of these because it's not obvious which one goes where. And it would be nice to clean all this carpet too. This metal bracket is in the way, but it bolts down underneath 
and it looks like it probably is on top of the transmission so that ain't coming out there we go well surprisingly the console is in really good condition well, like I mentioned the door has a dent in it and it's got a little bend and a crack right here and right here uh, it's a common problem <laughs> for this console so you can buy this door and the inside of it is is felt and you can see all the felt is worn off around the edges uh, inside these are often cracked and this is in excellent condition I mean it's filthy but the flock is, looks like it's in pretty good shape inside. Uh, this back door looks like it's in really good shape. It's solid. There's no cracks. Uh, the light that goes across the back, I'll have to test it to make sure it works. But it looks, looks really good. Uh, you can inspect all around the inside and make sure there's no breaks or cracks. Uh, these have a tendency to get cracks here in the back. Or right here when somebody you know, sits on the console or climbs on it but this console is in really good shape uh, the original stampings are perfect but there's no <laughs> deep gouges or cracks in it anywhere so I am going to just clean this base up I'm not going to paint it it, it should clean up really nice uh, the, the mounting point everything is in great shape all the mounts on the inside of the console look great. Here's the, the bracket. Uh, this is where the seat belts clip into on the top. This is the spring that I was had mentioned you have to keep an eye on for that door. So I bought one of the replacement doors from Rick's Camaros. And I'm not sure what they look like, how good they are. If they match the factory original. Wow. Very nice flocking. Oh, that is beautiful. That is an excellent copy of the original. I am impressed. I'm not sure about the flat color but that brings up a good point. I think I'll paint the whole console this flat black rather than the semi-gloss or gloss. I like that flat a lot better. It probably matches the seats better too. I'll compare it. But overall, I am very impressed. Nice piece. Size-wise, fit and the shape look perfect very nice good job guys take this panel off get it out of the way so I can get it all cleaned up and then prep it for painting definitely got a lot of ooey gooey stuff on it but in excellent shape and I think I'm going to experiment with flat paint on this one so I can match this other cover and then see how it looks with the base it doesn't look like this has ever been painted and it actually has a lot more of the same sheen that this door has I would suspect that somebody has probably painted this console, either that or it's just years of, of use, um, and maybe even polish, that it has brought a little bit of a sheen to it, because if I look at this area around the glove box, that has a flat sheen to it, so this is probably just build up of wax and 
wax-like materials because it doesn't look like it's ever been painted. So I'll have to really scrub and clean this up. I also want to clean this up. Uh, the chrome's in great shape. Paint is in horrible shape. Uh, the lens has got some scratches in it. Dirty and rusty. Needs to be cleaned up. Got some beast bits and pieces of broken plastic. Hopefully it's nothing major. I'm having a hard time getting it apart. There we go. Yeah, luckily, it's just this corner is chipped off. No big deal. But yeah, this will be easy to buff up and bring back to life. It's, it's pretty scratched, <laughs> pretty dirty, but it's savable. You can't buy these. They do have replacement parts. <laughs> Some guys are even converting the car over to an automatic overdrive. So you can change this as well as the shifter mechanism to put an overdrive transmission in. Uh, the 700 R4 is a really popular transmission to swap into these cars. I have to pry these off. The, these threaded areas and spread the material just enough that it doesn't want to come off. There we go. I'll be able to clean that up. And then I can sand and get all this prepped and ready to paint. And I'll be able to make this look brand new again. That's in excellent shape. It's probably going to be easiest when I'm repairing this piece to take it completely off if I can get it off without bending it. Otherwise, it might be best to just get some epoxy around the back side of it and re glue that down. Yeah, it feels like it's got a good strong bond so I'll just get some adhesive to the back side of that and not risk bending it and then cracking that surface. So I've got a couple options here. Uh, Semi-gloss black and I've got a satin black. I'm Thinking satin black is probably going to be the best. Flat black, I just don't like. It's, it's just, it's too uh, porous, I guess you could say. And once you polish it a few times, it's not going to be flat anymore anyway. So I'm going to test a, a satin on this lid. Of course, this is the dented one. <laughs> um, I'm going to let this dry in front of my heater for a minute and then I'll compare and see how it looks. I painted half of it with satin and half of it with flat. The flat is absolutely out. The, the satin is got just a little bit more sheen to it than the other. So. I'm betting that it's just because it's it's fresh. Once it's cured really well, I think the satin is going to be perfect. The flat is definitely out. The flat is, I don't know, it, it takes away all the texture even. And it just absorbs all the light. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the flat at all. Well, there's so much inconsistency. <laughs> I've, I wiped it all down with wax and grease remover. I've got some semi-gloss, I've got some high gloss. I've got, I don't know what. So I'm going to paint it all with the, with the satin. Uh, I don't look like the semi-gloss, it's just too much. Uh, and this is just too dull. <laughs> so I'm going to compromise. I'm going to go with the satin. Um, I just feel really good about it. want a light coat over the whole thing. I don't want it real heavy. A real light 
coat has a tendency to bond better when it comes to these different surfaces. So I mainly just want to get all of these three areas to match. I'm probably going to have to put it on pretty heavy on this door because the texture is so much deeper than the rest. I want that paint to kind of flow into that texture and smooth it out a little bit. So while that's drying, I'm going to sand this centerpiece. It looks like somebody touched this up with flat black. Uh, it doesn't match at all. I just want to take it down smooth, some of these scratches and touch up paint without damaging the chrome at all. Alright, I'm going to paint this the same color and get down in that groove with some scotch bright. Clean that out. So I don't get too much paint on my chrome. I'll just wipe it off with some lacquer thinner. I wanted to put it on super, super thin, uh, especially in, in these areas where the chrome is showing through, because you'll get a, a lot of fisheye. And once it dries really good, then if I just keep doing really light mist coats, I'll be able to prevent that fisheye from really being noticeable. Still getting some fisheye popping up through in here, so I need to let that cup dry. Back to the uh, polishing again. A little bit more. I might have to even get out a heavier grit polish. This has got a lot of deep scratch in it from things being set on and on top of the console. I don't want to get too aggressive with it. Still got a little haziness right here. Another little bit of a scratch right there. It looks like this area here is actually on the inside. It's really hard to tell. I don't think you can see it. No, I can't make it out. There it is. Right above the one. There's a mark in there that it looks like a scratch, but it's not. It's actually a hazy stress crack. So this lens would have to be replaced to make it perfect. It, I, there's just no way I can buff that out. It's like I say, it's it's a stress mark in the plastic itself. Uh, you can see it right above the one. Since he's going to be renting this car out, I'm not going to worry about it. But if this was going to be a, a show car again and get into any competition at all, this lens would need to be replaced. It's real easy to do without tearing the whole console out and just take that center piece off and replace it later. So I'll point it out to him and I'll leave that up to him if he wants to replace this lens or not. Now the console is dry and I can really look it over. It's in great shape. I'm noticing on the passenger side, there's a couple of little scratches. 
that there's really not a whole lot I can do with that, but they, you have to really look closely to see it. And on the underneath side, uh, down along the side of the seat, uh, there's a lot of imperfections when this was made new from the factory. So it's not a perfect piece and it makes me feel a lot better with the new dash, replacement dash, because after I got looking at it, it's not perfect either. And the new one has some imperfections, so it all pretty much ties together. So before I put this all back together, I'm going to set it aside and get back to working on the top. I need to work on the uh, back windows to get them to roll up and down. Uh, and then once I get that finished up, I'll be getting all the mechanics of the top, all the bows and all the pieces, get those cleaned up and get those painted. And then I have the top so I can start putting that top back on. Oh, I'm waiting on the lift cylinders. Uh, I can't really put everything back together until I have those, and those are supposed to be in a couple of days. So I'll start working on the doors and the windows, and we'll get that out of the way first. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you like what I'm doing, please give me a like, share my videos. If you haven't already, subscribe. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from you. Until next time, goodbye for now.